Hey guys, so I want to take a look at Casper. The ticker for this is CSPR, and I'm currently on the weekly time frame. Now, before I get into the analysis, I should mention that this is a very small and new channel. So if you leave this channel, um, it's unlikely that you're going to find it again because YouTube prioritizes um, the more established channels that have about 100,000 subscribers in the search results. So if you want to get uh, notified when I put out new analysis videos, I'm doing about two or three videos every single day. Just hit subscribe, and when you hit subscribe, you're going to see a little icon of a bell. You have to click the icon of the bell and uh, select on all if you want to uh, be notified when I release new videos. Okay, so for Casper, uh, the first thing I want to take a look at is this weekly time frame. And when you're, when you're analyzing a coin, what you want to do is you just want to find the most significant levels that the price is responding to. Um, so I've identified this right here. So you see how these two candle bodies line up? I marked that as um, the start of this horizontal um, support level or horizontal support or resistance, depending on the position of the price. But you'll see um, it held the, the candle bodies here for uh, several months, like we would wick through it and then the candle body would close above it. So it held a support for a very long time. And then you'll see um, here that the, it would wick down and then the candle body would close above it again right here. And as you see, as we broke up from this point, as we came down, we got support again from this horizontal support line. So if you're going to trade Casper, I would recommend drawing this line. And uh, I have it at about 0 0.03507. Okay, just, just that range, you know, as, as you can see, it's, it's a little bit of a range here. Um, yeah, mark that on, on, your, uh, on your chart because this is a very significant level on the Casper chart. Now, a couple things worth noting here. You see the stochastic? how we've we basically come all the way down into the, uh, well, so-called oversold region, but yeah, and we're starting to cross back up. You see that? So that's a bullish indicator. And another bullish indicator is where we are. Actually, you know what? The first thing I'm going to show you here, before I show you the Fibonacci retracement level, I'm going to show you the daily price action. So you see here how we have this downsloping <coughs> level of resistance. And uh, we had several touches. This was served as a resistance for um, since uh, May. So this is this has been the resistance for a few months now. So right here, because we're on the daily time frame now. So resistance here, two, three, four. You see when the price came up here and touched it, we just got a quick sell-off. So a lot of people are looking at this uh, downsloping level of resistance. So four. And just recently, we broke out of it. So the price came all the way back, full retrace down to this horizontal level of support, and we blasted through it. Now, typically what's going to happen uh, when you break a long-term level of uh, resistance like that, the price will tend to come back and, and test it as the support level. So if the price comes down here, then I would personally look um, for a potential bounce. And let me run a fib to see if uh, there's any confluence. So from the start of the breakout, run it up to the top. And yes, okay, so if the price comes down here, I mean, we could bounce off this 50% uh, retracement level, but if the price comes comes down to this level, this, this golden pocket, uh, it's very common to get a price reaction from this level, and we have confluences that would also line up with the um, this downsloping resistance line, and we're going to get to see if it's going to flip to a support. So right here is a uh, low-risk entry um, to potentially take a trade, as you can if you're wrong, you'll know it quickly and you could place a stop loss just below. So, but I mean, keep in mind though, this is the, um, this is a daily. So it's possible that you can get a uh, wick come, come below here. And then it, it's where the body closes. That's, that's significant, right? So you got to be aware of that when you're placing your stops, what a lot of people do more conservative traders, what they'll do is they will wait for the uh, candle body to close. So they'll just sit back and wait. If it wicks down, they'll wait for the candle body close. So if, for example, you get a wick down here and then the candle body, uh, the candle salvage and it closes around here at the golden pocket, then they will look to enter a trade. So it's just whatever you're comfortable with. Now, I'm going to switch it back to the weekly time frame, and I'm going to get rid of this Fibonacci and I'm going to run another one um, basically to see where we are at this entire move. So from the bottom up to the top. And as you can see, remember I just mentioned the golden pocket, how it often serves as a um, level of, of uh, support. Well, we came down and look where we bounced off. 
the golden pocket. And the golden pocket is just the range between the 618 and the 65% retracement level. Um, by default, the Fibonacci retracement tool is going to have the 61.8, but I add the 65% uh, percent in manually, just because oftentimes the price will kind of come to the 618, but it'll, it'll pass through right down to the 65. So I like to just mark that as a range on my chart. So, I mean, this is a very, very good sign. So, you know, the price is responding to very technical levels. Um, looks good. It looks good. So yeah, for Casper, if you want to trade Casper, this horizontal uh, line, right, that serves as a level of support or resistance, you want to also mark out this um, this downsloping resistance line, and particularly if it, we're going to see if it flips to a support level, and this aligns with the 618. So that's what I'm seeing on Casper right now. Um, it, it's interesting because typically the whole market depends on what Bitcoin's doing, and I'll just take a, I'll just take a quick look at Bitcoin here. I'm going to do a separate video on Bitcoin probably tomorrow, but I mentioned uh, in my last video, I marked out the potential levels of support from um, from this break. And we're, I, I mentioned in the last video that we're currently at one, which is a 3A2. And so far it's holding. Um, yeah, this is just, just a game of playing the levels, right? So what could potentially happen here if the 3A2 holds, maybe we work our way back up, but then we're going to get a lot of resistance at this uh, previous support level that we broke. And then from there, we get to see if we if we break back up into this, then OK, it's all good. Um, we could be coming back up to the top here. That's a very bullish sign. But what's likely to happen is a lot of people are going to place uh, sell orders here and then maybe uh, the price will, will kind of come back down. So we might fight within this, this, within this range for a bit. And then if it does break down, then the next level is going to be this 50 percent retracement, which um, could potentially line up with this upsloping uh, support line. So, yeah, we got to wait and see on Bitcoin. But uh, Casper, Casper looks great. So, um, yeah, again, if you're not subscribed and you want to get notified when I make more of these videos, uh, just do that now. And, uh, yeah, take care. Have a good day. Bye.